Luke from CoreCarsNews.com doing a review of the Ultra Slim keyboard. I just got this day, so I thought I'd do a little unboxing before I tested it out. First thing I noticed right away is it's super easy to open. Some of these retail packaging that you need a jackhammer and a pair of pliers to get the keyboard out of are kind of a pet peeve of mine. Uh, second thing, just kind of taking a look at this right now, is it's very, very slim. That is my uh, finger width, just to give you kind of a reference there. And the keys feel really good. Um, there's a blue blinking light. I don't know if I just bumped that on. Yeah, it was in the on position. I may have bumped that. But uh, right here is on the back the little RF receiver. Nice little slot built in there. Uh, looks like a little power indicator, on off switch, charging port. And it sits really nice. Not a whole lot to say right now. Keys feel good. Definitely a noticeable click and a feel to it. Uh, the back is kind of a brushed metal. It looks nice. Shows my fingerprints. But it's sharp looking. And the keypad feels, or touchpad, excuse me, feels good on my thumbs. Well, I'll test this out over the next few days, come back here and give you a review after I've used it, and let you know what I think. Well, after a few days of testing this out, I'm back to let you know what I think about it. First of all, um, a little bit more about the keyboard itself. I've tested this out to be about 60 feet away from the uh, computer, and it's worked great, very reliable connection. Um, the computer that it's connected to is a laptop located behind this TV, and this large uh, wooden TV stand. It's got DVD players in it, PS3, Wii, games, DVDs. So the range on it is impressive. The battery life was impressive. Being so thin, that's kind of one more time to kind of show you that. It's my finger right there in comparison. Uh, I wasn't expecting much, but there's a bar on the back of it that, first of all, when you're laying it down, angles the keys up slightly so you can have it sit on your coffee table and type away with it. But secondly, it's the battery. Um, very impressive battery life. Uh, the switch on it, when I'm not using it, I flip it off, but even just leaving it run, it doesn't seem to run down the batteries uh, very quickly. Uh, the next thing is where most multifunction keys, you have to hit two keys to get to it. This time, they kind of flip things around. The F1 through 12 keys are function keys, where you have to hold down the function button and then select it to use the F1 or F2 keys. Um, now, in place of them are home buttons, search buttons, play pause, volume up, down, mute, and so forth. So it's a nice little touch there that they were thinking that people are going to use this for media. Let's make the media the main feature. It also just feels really great in your hand. Uh, the touchpad fits perfectly in my thumb, very responsive, and the keys are great. Great response um, on when I strike it from what happens on the computer. No lag, uh, no discernible lag from an average user. Let's take a look at how it works on the uh, TV. Uh, first, let's check out the DVD that I'm running. The uh, multi-function keys work great. They control the TV quickly. As you can see, almost instant response. Um, the mouse pad is very quick and sensitive. Once you kind of get used to using your thumb, as your touchpad, it's very quick and easy to use, but you can still use your index finger if you're more used to that from running a keyboard. It, great integration with sites like YouTube and CBS.com. Very, uh, very simple, easy, basic keyboard. If you're looking for more of a traditional full-size keyboard compared to some of the other options out there, the micro keyboards, which are more like a BlackBerry type setup, this is more of your traditional keyboard, yet ultra slim, ultra responsive, very good battery life. Um, the brush metal on the back is very durable. Uh, overall, just very pleased. You can see my full written review at cordcuttersnews.com. Thank you for watching the video.